Hey guys, this is Jimmy here. I'm doing a video that's a little bit out of the norm. Uh, typically, I do videos on DIY fixing stuff around the house, but or uh, anywhere inside the house or outside or anything else, but cars whatsoever. But today, I'm doing a video on how to build a Marlin firmware. Now, this is per request from uh, my uh, Discord where I've been hanging out lately. Um, I've gotten a 3D printer back in uh, January of last year, so. I've seen a lot of people are struggling once they get BL Touch or CR Touch. So I've got asked by multiple people to do a, a, a video that's latest, not stale with older commands and stuff like that. Now I got a cheat sheet that I might attach uh, or I will provide the commands. Um, so let's get started here. First thing, obviously, once you get a BL Touch, it's not rocket science here. You're going to download Visual Studio Code. That is basically directly from visualstudiocode.com. Uh, there are three install installers out there, uh, zip, user installer, and system. I go with the system installer. I do 64-bit because my machine is 64-bit. So depending on what machine you have, you could go 64, 32, or ARM. You could, yes, you could use on uh, Raspberry Pi too. But uh, the today's is basically 64-bit for Windows. Uh, once you download it, uh, once you click on it, it's going to prompt you where you want to save it. So obviously you save it on your desktop for now. Um, and then also you want to download Marlin build. Um, note to you guys, uh, first, before building a new firmware, you might want to open up your machine's board area to see what chip you have. Um, now, the Creality starts shipping out newer boards with RCT boards here. Those are the crappier 256 EEPROM boards and they stink basically. So if you happen to have that, make sure you use the bug fix. If not, uh, if you download the stable release, you're not covered and you're going to be basically banging your head why I can't compile that. And it will not, it'll throw you some errors. So RCT is only in the bug fix. If you happen to have RET board uh, 427, RET, uh, RET 422, or uh, 427, your standard or SKR, you could download the 2.09.3 stable build. You click on this, uh, this is direct hot link. So you're going to click on this. I'm doing, I have the 422 Ender 3v2 board, which is with the silent steppers. So you obviously I downloaded already. So you save it on your desktop. Um, then you're going to click on view configurations here. Um, you're going to be landed on a git and then you go click on the code and download the zip file here. Um, yes, some people ask, where do you download the zip? So I point it out basically here. Once you do that, um, you want to basically minimize or close whatever and you're going to install VS code. I already have it. So this is the setup you're going to do. Make sure you do with the elevator rights run as administrator um, to avoid any issues. Once you do that, once the installation is done, open VS code. First thing you want to do is and then download um, these plugins. Actually, sorry, I already have that. So I'm going to skip the installation process. So once you have that, open up your VS Code. You're going to click on this little box. Go to Extensions. You're going to search for Platformio. I already have it installed, but I'll show you. So you click it, and you're going to uh, basically see Install here or in the main screen. You're going to do Install. And then you'll look for Auto Build Marlin. Makes your life 100 times easier. You're going to install this, and you're simply going to uh, close the app. Um, let me do that. So you're going to close it, you know, reopen VS code again. I can't type, sorry. Um, once it's open, you're going to, you're going to see this screen here. You're going to click on auto build Marlin and you're going to be here at this point, minimize the application. Go to C drive and create a folder. I already created a 422 silent board uh, for folder because I'm working on um, that firmware. So you're going to copy the desktop files or move whatever I like to move um, to keep it in one spot. You're going to right click and extract. Um, you can do extract with whatever uh, extraction tool you use. I already extracted that to make life easier to speed up things. And then you're going to go in configuration release. Um, you're going to go to examples, Creality. And then um, I do have Ender 3 Pro, but I like to use Ender 3 
profile uh, configurations because they have things more things enabled. Um, you're just gonna copy these. I'm not copying bootscreen.h, but you will need to copy it um, because I have custom boot screen uh, already moved into this folder. So I'm going to go in Marlin to dot o dot x, and then there is a Marlin folder in here. You're gonna copy these in here. Oops, replace. Then you're going to browse your, uh, open your VS code again. You're going to click on open a model in 2x. You go in the folder, you click on this one. Don't go in here, Marlin. You're just going to go into the Marlin 2x and hit select folder. Once you do that, it takes a little bit of time to open up um, and it opens up. Give it a, give it some time to settle down. All right. When you see PIO home loaded at this point, you're ready to move. All right. So first thing, obviously, you want to do is in your configuration files, you want to change whatever you want to change here. I'm going to go through my cheat sheet here, so I'm gonna flip flop in between the two apps to cover all my commands for VL Touch and. Uh, Compile. So I have Ender 3 Pro. I'm going to do Ender 3 Pro 422 Silent. So just so I remember down the road, um, I like to update my name. Um, and then I'm going to basically go in this spreadsheet here that I have. And then I like to enable S curve acceleration. So, um, like I mentioned, the Ender 3 configuration has a lot of these things enabled already. Uh, Pro might not have it, so you might have to enable that. Um, and then level bed corners. There we go. You don't have to enable every single thing that I enable um, because you, that's your custom firmware. I like to enable individual axes homing menu because it'll give me the list if I want to home Z individually or if I want to uh, home Y or X individually after homing um, when you're tweaking. And if you have 422 silent, you could leave this warning enable disable. That's totally up to you. I am going to, I have, um, this is optional. If you have the 422 board with loud uh, noisy drivers, you don't have to change this. So. While I'm here, I'm just going to make a real quick change here. Um, all right. So if you're using Creality Board, that's TMC 2208 standalone. Um, I got to do that. That's for X, Y, and Z, and then also Extruder. Otherwise, I'll start getting noise out of my steppers. If, if I have it, why not use it? But again, check your um, board, which one you have. Don't enable these by default. And then next thing is for if you have a BL Touch, a lot of the, the old guides tells you to enable uh, Z probe min and stop inverting to true. Leave this false. This is no longer needed, um, so don't touch this one. Now, for BL Touch, whether you have CR Touch, BL Touch, or 3D Touch, you're going to enable this. Then you also need to define your nozzle to probe offset. So these needs to be measured value. If you have a standard shroud and you're mounting BL Touch on the left side of your printer, um, uh, with the Creality Shroud, the range is basically in between negative 42 to negative 46. So I'm going to go negative 44 here, and then Y is typically around like negative 5 to negative 7, so I'm just going to ballpark at negative 6. I will eventually measure these and update it, but now um, I'm going to just leave it for sanity purpose here. So this way, probing margin here, 10, is basically um, if your probe is far away from the middle or whatsoever you could adjust this value uh typically i've seen people using 35 as a probing margin to adjust their bed uh, accordingly um next one is obviously auto bed leveling by linear um, all 
All right, and then I've noticed a lot of people use uh, for this one. They have once they enable this, they get five five times five grid, which is twenty five point grid. Uh, you want to go with nine point. You have to make change here. Uh, grid point is three here for me. Um, I noticed the Ender 3 Pro configuration has 5 in there, um, so you might want to change that to 3, so to keep 9. I, I, don't, I, I think 25 point is way absurd and way too much for a two, uh, 235 millimeter bed size. And then you want to enable Z safe homing. Um, if you don't enable this, your BL touch is not going to work. And next one you want to enable is, I mean, sorry, disable this value right here. So what this does is allows you to basically take your printer um, below z uh, zero on Z axis. If you leave it enabled, it's going to stop at zero and you will not be able to adjust your Z offset. So Now, if you have your BL touch connected with Z and stop, um, what you want to do is you want to disable this one. This is assuming your BL touch is connected to BL touch port and Z and stop is connected, still connected. You want to disable this value here. And then you want to enable the define use probe for Z homing. So you're using probe to uh, do your homing. After that, So these are the two I covered. And then you want to go in configuration.advance for BL touch. You want to define BL touch de delay. Um, for software mode, some of them have a glitch, so you want to. Uh, that's a high speed mode to speed up some things. It's optional. So if you have thick one or whatsoever, don't enable this one. Um, I think I'm I'm gonna enable it, take a chance on my 3D touch to see if it works or not. And then you wanna enable probe offset wizard unless you like to do manual. The wizard makes life easier. And then for a wizard, you also need to enable these. Is exactly, and then you want to enable baby steps for everything. So enable that, and then you also want to enable for offset Z probe offset. The baby steps allows you to basically um, adjust your Z offset with micro steps. All right, and at this point you're basically done. Um, so you could just hit compile. So yeah, so here we're done um, with updating everything. And you're just gonna go to auto build Marlin. Um, now you're gonna click on show ABM panel. Once you click here, uh, you'll select your board type. So SKR Mini comes in two variants where you'll have um, RET, RCT. Again, RET is 512 and RCT is 256 Creality now started doing RCT so again Creality RCT is only in bug fix um, not in stable this is stable release I'm doing for my RET, uh, RET 422 board um, and 427 should be with uh, it's 427 is fine with Marlin stable build so you're gonna just click on build um, first time it might fail because it needs to download dependencies and um, plugins or whatsoever so if it fails just rebuild click the build once it fails um it'll go through now um i'm just gonna go quiet for a while let it run so we could fast forward this section All right, so it looks like the firmware build, uh, build is done. Uh, you can click on this little folder here to open up your um, folder. And it'll point you directly to the bin file. Now you take this bin file, put on the micro SD and connect, uh, insert it into your printer and boot it up. It should flash and you clear your EEPROM and you're ready to go. Um, I know the build took a little bit longer. I think my laptop got throttled, 
throttled. So um, that's all it is. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.